शांति ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में आपका स्वागत है आज दिन तीन ओम शांति वेलकम टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे थ्री परफॉर्म द डांस ऑफ हार्मोनाइजिंग संस्कार वन किंगडम वन रिलीजन अव्यक्त सिग्नल वर्तमान एट प्रेजेंट यू हैव टू सरेंडर योर सेल्फ टू द फ्लेम टू सच एन एक्सटेंड that the words this is my sanskar this is my nature finish when each one's nature is transformed then you will have avyakt features when you meet someone you will greet one another by shaking hands whereas here it is a meeting of sanskars when everyone's sanskars become similar the world of one kingdom and one religion will come now we'll listen from moini didi ओम शांति ओम शांति बाबा के मन में हम सभी के प्रति एक ही संकल्प है इन बाबा हार्ट ही हैज जस्ट वन थॉट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस बाबा हैज कम टू एस्टेब्लिश वन रिलीजन एंड वन किंगडम एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड द हार्मोनाइजिंग ऑफ संस्कार द डांस ऑफ संस्कार baba say just as we have a meeting with baba we need to have a meeting or a milan of sanskars that is called the dance of harmonizing sanskars we all have to churn what do we have to churn what is that sanskar that we have uh, whether it is the original the eternal whether it is the um godly sanskar that we all should imbibe it is not we shouldn't be imbibing each other sanskar like yours like theirs um like babas like the aim that we all have one sanskar just like the eternal sanskar that is of purity that's of peace that's of love so let that sanskar be within each one of us so today baba has given has given us a very nice homework that one kingdom one religion at present you have to surrender yourself to the flame to such an extent that the words this is my sanskar this is my nature finish when each one's nature is transformed then you will will have avyak avyakt features so when they show shri krishna or when they're having a dance of aur yahan par bhi kai baar hum log bolte hain so even the here also we say they say oh you all look the same do you all look your faces look the same so baba selling there will be an avyakt face nobody will be seeing your physical faces they will only be seeing uh, a vyakt face so when each one's nature is transformed then you will have a vyakt features when you meet someone you greet one another by shaking hands but as here it is the meeting of sanskars when everyone sanskars become similar the world of one kingdom and one religion will come so they they saying in golden age in the the sanskars will be eternal and 
so there is the sanskars of the eternal and and of the souls and of the original sanskars is of the deities so whether it is the the avyakti features or whether it's the nature there are two things both will be similar as is the nature gets tra transformed the features also change so when they see the change within you they will also see transformation on your face so the true dance uh, you won't uh, So it's not that having features of each other, but to have the features of golden age, like um, gopes and gopis. So if you want to have the features of Sangam Yug, then you need to have avyakti features. So for that, in front of us, who we see is avyakt babdada. So when Baba comes, So it's not their, it's not of their eyes, their face, and their look. But what is the vibrations that they have? And as people are developing their the features and stage, others will say, "What do they say?" They'll say, "Your features are changing. You're becoming avyak." On what basis are they saying that? So the nature and features, there is a deep connection between the two. We don't have to change our features. I mean, you can't even change. But what we need to change is our nature. By their face that they say, oh, you can experience um, bliss. There is sweetness. There is all those virtues. There's peace that they can experience from the face. So to change our features, we need to change our nature. So, to change that nature, by changing that one nature, we will be one na one religion and um, one kingdom can be established. The religion of the soul, so one kingdom can come. There shouldn't be many kingdoms, one. There might be eight kings, in the golden age, there are eight kingdoms, but they all are different kingdoms, but they all are one, similar. They won't have any uh, difference of opinions. There's no jealousies. There's no comparison. So that's sanskar. And we have to emerge those and the, uh, make it um, imperishable. So we need to pay more attention to emerging those sanskars. Om Shanti. Om Shanti avec le liberation and so on the first stream. Padam guna bhagya or Om Shanti avyat murli revision um, multi million times fortune. Avektavani Tarikhe Char December Avektavani uh, Fourth December nineteen seventy two The Drill of um, Mahavir Souls Elevated Souls Multi Million Times Fortunate Souls do not take even one step without earning an income of multi-millions. You know how to do the spiritual drill, do you not? To be incorporeal at one moment, to be angelic in the next, and not to be a karma yogi in the corporeal form in the next. It should not take long. Just as the corporeal form belongs to you in the same way the incorporeal form and the angelic form also belong to you do they not why should it take long to adopt something that belongs to you it would take time to adopt something that does not belong to you and you have and you would have to think about it but this is your own original form just as you put on and take off your physical costume according to your task, 
In the same way, you have to adopt the costume of the corporeal body according to the task and then be detached from it. However, just as when a physical costume is tight, you're not able to take it off easily. So too, if the costume of the body is tight because of attraction to the body, the world and maya, that is, if the soul is pulled by those things, then the costume would not be taken off easily. That is, you will not be able to become detached easily, but it will take time and there will be tiredness. When any task is not possible, there is tiredness or distress. Distress does not allow you to stabilize yourself in one place. So why did this wandering around the path of devotion begin? When the soul became weak from adopting a body and then becoming detached from it, when the consciousness of the body pulled towards itself, the soul then became distressed and started to wander around. However, all of you elevated souls can now go beyond the attraction of your bodies in a second. Do you have such a practice? When is the time for the examination of the practice? When there is a great force of the suffering of karma, when the physical senses are completely under the influence of the suffering of karma, it is known as great pain. They say that they have a great deal of pain and that, and that was why they forgot a little. However, this is a time for the tug of war. Only those who transform the suffering of karma into karma yoga, only such souls who tolerate everything through the physical senses as detached observers are called the eight jewels. They are victorious at such a time because the eight jewels have the eight powers all the time. Only such souls who become part of the eight are those who give the blessings of the power for a short time to the devotees and so become special deities. To such Mahavir souls who are embodiments of power, who have eight arms, that is, who are complete with the eight powers, to the most elevated souls who are able to control their thoughts in a second, to the souls who give all souls the introduction of the Father, to the souls who enable those souls who are separated from the Father to meet the Father, to the souls who enable thirsty souls to be fulfilled for all time, to such souls who are free from all bondage, accurate in yoga, that is yogyukt, accurate in method, that is yukti yuk, and liberated in life, chivan mukt, love, remembrance and namaste. A mela means a meeting. What will be the last mela here? Relate the things of the confluence age. You will have the karma deed stage when you first have the mela. There will be mela of having equality between the sanskars of the father, the virtues of the father, the speed of his task and the avyak and incorporeal stages. When souls celebrate the Mela of being equal to the Father, there will be the cries of victory and destruction will then come close. Equality to the Father will bring destruction close. What happens after you have a Mela? There is extreme silence. So souls will also celebrate the Mela and then go into the stage of retirement. Call it the stage beyond sound or the Karmat state stage, but there will first be this Mela. Acha Om Shanti.